In this video, we're going to talk about the hackamore and the makati. So this is a hackamore. It originates from the, the, the California Spanish vaqueros. The rope that's on the hackamore, tied onto the hackamore, is called a makati. That's a horsehair rope. The, the, the hackamore and the, the horsehair rope, the makati, are 5 8 inch. The, the hackamore is rawhide. It's braided, braided rawhide. The, not, it's not tanned leather. The makati is horsehair and it's twisted. Hackamore has a rawhide core and the makati has a horsehair core. And this is the, the latigo hanger. That, and that goes up over, over the horse's head behind the ears. And this little strap here I use to uh, tie underneath the jaw, kind of like a throat latch, uh, but it, it keeps the, the latigo, the hanger, from going into the horse's eye. So you can see how this is tied on to here. The concept of it is the, uh, it's more of a signaling device than a uh, pooling device. Uh, like a side pool would be for pooling laterally more. This one you don't want to pull laterally too much. It's more of a signaling device. This is called the heel knot. This is the nose, nose button or nose band. And these are the cheek pieces here. You can see when I pull on the rein here how the, the heel knot lifts. So and the, the nose button goes down. So that shapes the horse into the hackamore. It, it's, that's why it's a signaling device, and not a pooling device. You can't pull, pull on it too much. So I'll show you how it kind of goes on a horse here. So it goes up over the nose and over the top of the head. And here the, the little latigo strap goes underneath the jaw. I keep it on the jawbone so it doesn't interfere with the horse's breathing, so it doesn't get up into his throat. That works the best for me. And some hackamores have a longer nose button here, so you might not need this little strap here on some. I've got a hackamore that I don't need that. It's just, this one's got a really short nose button here, so I need that little strap to keep it out of the eye. So you can see how I've got the nose button on the bone here. Down here on the horse, uh, these little little bones here, if you put the hackamore too far down and you, you rotate this hackamore, um, that, there's a lot of cartilage on these bones. So that can, that can actually with time kind of pinch that cartilage and, and create scar tissue. It can hurt the horse a little bit more. So if you keep it up on the nose, you don't want it all the way up here, but if you keep it up on the nose a little bit more, that uh, works a lot better for the horse. It, you want to adjust it to where there's, I, I, I don't like to have enough room to even get two fingers between the lower jaw and the heel knot or the makati here. Um, that's that's just, just a little bit of space so it's got room to, um, move up and down a little bit because that's your signal. So you can see when I signal this rain on the nose here how the how the nose button moves up and down. So that's the signal in the front. Now you've also got the signal in, on the lower jaw in the back here and that one that the when it comes up against the jaw that means you're putting a little bit more pressure on there and they start to, if they listen properly to this, they'll start listening to that too. And the first time, a couple of times, you'll probably get into contact with the lower jaw, which is okay, but as time goes on, that should, that should get better and they shouldn't, you shouldn't have to uh, make contact with the, the lower jaw too much. And when you fit the hackamore on the, the horse's nose, you don't want so this is just a skeleton so I can't it's a little hard to show you but you don't want too much space in here hardly any space in here and you don't want space in here you want all that filled in uh, so it doesn't 
doesn't rub on the horse, doesn't rub the hair off, all that stuff.